Hello students today we'll discuss point by serial and by serial correlation uh, this is lecture number 31 correlation series part 6 i am your teacher dr mohammad zahir students we have already seen some of the types of the correlation coefficients like spearman pearson candle today we'll discuss one of the rarely used correlation type that is bi serial and point by serial correlation the bi serial correlation and the point by serial correlation are measures used in statistics to assess the relationship between the two variables the point by serial correlation is used when one variable is continuous like sales height weight test scores and other is a discrete dichotomous for example it has only two clearly distinct categories such as dead alive male female pregnant or not pregnant the bi serial correlation is also used to measure the relationship between the two variables where one is continuous and one is dichotomous variable but it is based on a different assumption about the dichotomous variable the difference point by serial correlation assumes that the dichotomous variable is a true dichotomy meaning it naturally occurs in two categories and its calculation of the point by serial correlation coefficient r p b point by serial can be calculated using the pearson correlation formula treating the dichotomous variable as if it were a continuous variable coding the two categories at 0 and 1 remember this is very important you will uh, code one category as 0 and other one as 1 whereas by serial correlation assumes that the dichotomous variable is an artificial dichotomy meaning it is derived from an underlying continuous variable that has been dichotomized like converting numerical test scores into pass fail categories or height into tall or short so it is a continuous dichotomous variable the bi serial correlation coefficient rb requires more complex calculations involving not only the means and standard deviation of the two groups created by the dichotomous variable but also the proportion of cases in each group and the z values of the normal distribution this is a cumbersome calculation we'll try to make it simpler for you the difference between the use of bi serial and point by serial correlation depends on whether the dichotomous variable is discrete or continuous a discrete or true dichotomy is one for which there is no underlying continuum the word continuum is very important the existence of a continuum for a dichotomy is nevertheless a possibility a subject exam score is good example of this according to the andy field some people will barely pass while others will clearly excel and other people will fail by a significant margin so pass and fail is there but the marks attained by a particular person lie on a continuum although participants fall into only two categories but there is clearly an underlying continuum as i told you interpretation is like other correlation coefficients a value of plus 1 indicates a perfect positive linear relationship a value of minus 1 indicates a perfect negative linear relationship a value of 0 indicates no re- linear relationship how to use them identify the type of variable determine whether you are dealing with a true or artificial dichotomy choose the correct coefficient use point by serial correlation for true dichotomies and by serial correlation for artificial dichotomies remember one thing is very important to understand it is not possible to calculate by serial correlation coefficient directly in spss so we must first calculate point by serial correlation coefficient and then we use an equation or a table to calculate the by serial correlation coefficient so we take an example this is example number 1 for point by serial correlation 
we take an interesting example from Andy Field's book uh, 2013 uh, this is an excellent example the research question is is there any relationship between the gender of a cat and how much time it spent away from home here gender is discrete dichotomous variable while time is a continuous variable so this is the case of point by serial correlation to calculate this we go into SPSS we go to analyze then we go to correlate bivariate and you can see you can have two variables time and the gender of the cat and remember we have to click Pearson correlation coefficient and we click OK here we see that uh, the correlation is 0.378 and the p-value is 0 0.003 which is less than 0 0.05 and this is uh, a moderately strong and statistically significant relationship between the gender of the cat and the time spent away from home so we can see that this is a significant relationship and if you wish to see the coefficient of determination we have 0.378 and we square it it becomes r square and you can multiply it by 100 and you can tell that the change is 14.2 percent caused by the gender so this was the example of point by serial correlation now we see the example of by serial correlation coefficient how we do it now we assume that the gender is a continuous dichotomous variable uh, for example the maleness of a cat may be less or more some of the cats are for some of the males are more male as compared to other male cats so this particular let's assume just that this particular characteristic is a continuous dichotomous variable as I told you, we cannot directly calculate the by serial correlation SPSS. What we do, we use the score of point by serial correlation and convert it into the by serial by using the following equation. This is by serial correlation coefficient. This is the point by serial correlation coefficient. This is P and this is Q and this is the Y coordinate of the normal distribution. What is P and what is Q? P is the proportion of the cases uh, of the larger category to see how we calculate it let's go into the file again we anal go to the analyze descriptive frequencies and we have gender over here just use this particular variable here you can see the uh, female cats have got more uh, number they are 32 and male cats are 28 and the percentage of the female cat is 53.3 or its proportion is 0.533 and the proportion of the male cats is 46.7 or it is 0.467 if you take it as a proportion so we use this proportion here p is 0.533 and q is 0.47 and we have to find out y coordinate and y coordinate if we go to the table we find it that is 0.3977 if we put uh, the uh, values in this formula we get a by serial correlation coefficient equal to 0.475 this seems quite cumbersome and complex we have a very simple solution to it and that simple so uh, solution is we can use a table developed by Terrell 1982 to convert the point by serial correlation into by serial correlation. We need the value of P, which I told you it is 0.533 and you can take it as 0.53 and the value of point by serial correlation coefficient and we can do it. Let's do it. First, I would like to tell you again, let's see what is the value of uh, uh, 
point by serial correlation coefficient here it is it is 0.378 and if we uh, round it to the two decimal points it becomes 0 0.38 0 0.38 is the value of point by serial correlation coefficient and 0 0.533 is the value of the largest proportion in the data oh, and let's see this is the table developed by uh, Terrell and this is the table where you can see what is the uh, value of point uh, point by serial correlation coefficient here these are the values of point by serial correlation coefficient and these are the values of the largest proportion of the dichotomous varial variable we had a, a largest proportion of uh, 0.53 or uh, uh, this is here somewhere uh, so, so let's assume it is 0.52 and then we go to 0.38 and here this is this is 0.48 or even if you take it as 0.54 this is 0.48 so this the value of by serial correlation coefficient is 0.48 you can see the value of by serial correlation coefficient is 0.48 the value that we calculated using the formula given by uh, the ND field it was 0.475 so both the values are uh, uh, fine equal to the uh, two decimal points so this is the way we calculate by serial correlation and point by serial correlation at the moment uh, uh, there is no such uh, particular software which I could find which is a freeware for you that you can use to calculate by serial correlation as soon as I get it I'll share it with you and please do give your feedback how did you find this particular video take care Allah Hafiz